Okay, so uh, Stray Kids' replay album released, and Changbin completely blindsided me when he released a song called Doodle, which off the title, I'm like, okay, it's gonna be like Street Light, it's gonna be super soft, it's about doodling about the person you like, and you miss them or something, like, you know, I figured it was gonna be like that, but, no, nah, Changbin comes out of left field and throws in an actual aggressive ass hip-hop rap track. And I'm going to share my thoughts with you today. I've only done one or two or three listens so far. I did my first listen. I made a reaction for it on Patreon. All these people here could see it right now. If you want to see my reaction, that is on Patreon. If you want to come support me as well for $5, you can watch all those reactions and everything that I put out, album reviews. And I really do appreciate it if you choose to support me. Of course, it's optional. Just watching this video and subscribing is plenty and all I can ask you for. But again, thank you to all these people. Uh, but yeah, doodle. Let me just share my thoughts. I have like two negative things and then like a whole shit ton of positive things. This isn't gonna be any analytical thing. I'll do that in a few days if I feel it's necessary. But let me just give you my overall thoughts from my my first few listens. Um, let me get the negative shit out of the way. I thought he was gonna bring down the fucking hammer like a Bobby type hook based on that beat. That beat hits hard. It's like that. It's like venom, right? It's like a super punchy beat. I heard that beat. I was like, oh. Damn, I really thought he was going to get into that hook and just go like a, why you mad, son? Like type of like doodle thing. But he goes into more of a trap style. Doodle, doodle. Like it works. I'm going to I'm gonna come around to it, end up loving it. I already know I am. It's just I had expectations after hearing the beat. Wish the hook hit a little harder, like Changbin voice-wise. I, I wish he was a little angrier with that, uh, that, that hook. I, I wish it punched a bit more. That's my like one negative complaint. Secondly... I'm going to be really annoyed by Changbin because of that third verse. It sounds really fast, but I guarantee you it's like eight syllables per second if I measured it right now, which I'm not going to do right now. I do it when I make an analytical video, but I, I it's like Juhan's Daya. It's like, it sounds really fast because the beat is like behind him. And then he's doing basically the same rhythm. So the beat helps it sound like he's hitting more syllables than he is. And I'm going to have so many people being like, oh my God, Chongbin's new fastest raps in doodle. I'm gonna be like, no, he's doing 16th notes for eight bars. That's that that's not that's no, it's not as fast as rap. But those are my only two negative things. Let me get into my positives I'm freaking out about. Chongbin sounded amazing. From what I heard from this, he was playing with space. I already mentioned that the beat hit hard as fuck, but I heard so many times where Chongbin is like going out of his way. Now, this is like a trend, especially the second half of this year. Chongbin is like he he wants to work with space. Three Racha, Heyday. He has all these like call and receive type uh bars where he's like doodle, 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 doodle. and he's like say something and then he like responds to himself kind of thing. I heard that in Doodle, uh very like you know spaced out. I think it was the second verse he did that. Um very, very fun to hear. One of the big things I heard, I'm pretty sure this is the first time Changbin's ever done a triplet run, which is a really basic flow. It's something that a lot of rappers do. Lisa's done one. I mean, obviously, Sugar's done one. Soyun's done one. All the big name rappers have done one at some point. Bobby's done one, I'm pretty sure. Mino, Mino, Mino. You guys know from Winner. He's done one. Like, all the big name rappers have done one at some point. Except Changbin. I'm pretty sure Changbin had never done a triplet run. Like, he's played with triplets, but he's never just done, like, a... Da, 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 which he did in the song, which I could just like pull up real quick. I'm not gonna like actually <laughs> play the whole thing because copyright, and you want to check out the whole thing with my reaction again. It's on Patreon, but right here. And if you don't know what that that means, like triplet run, it's it's literally just uh, let, me, let me pull this up for you. I, I'm I just like wrote this out. I haven't done the whole thing. There's way cooler stuff. This is not like the super cool flow at all. Just a really fun, catchy trap esque flow. Um, and that, that's basically what that pre-chorus flow is that he does twice throughout the song uh it's still really fun really cool i dig it i'm so happy because i've never heard chung do just a straight up triplet run to my knowledge i might be just forgetting a very obvious three racha song that he does this in but I don't remember the song that he does it in. That remind me down in the comments if he does do this in another song. But I mean, like overall, like it, it, it's it, oh, it's just such a surprise. I was really sad when this was releasing. I, I kind of didn't want to check out this album because I mean I knew I was gonna like I got it from Jisung. But outside of that, I, I was like, well, I know most of the stuff on this album. It, it's all super sentimental stuff that's written either for Stay or for the members' emotions, and I'm not that into that type of music um it has to really hit for me 
And so I, I was really worried. I knew I was going to like I Got It. I'm happy I could finally listen to I Got It. But uh, it turns out I haven't listened to the, every single song yet. But let me just give you guys my overall thing for the, the thing. Hello, Renjun. Um, here, here's my like 2022 playlist. This is where I put all the songs like from this year. I have 266, Jesus Christ. In the next week, I have to rank these and only show you guys my favorite 22 plus some honorable mentions. But oh, anyways, uh, as you can see, I've added a few of them already. Um, the per the better Limbo, by the way, is the new song by Untel featuring Swervy. I am sorry, Lino, but Untel did it better. <laughs> and anyways, anyways, this is straight video. I'm not trying to piss off today. Uh, I got it. We already knew it's that. I knew it slapped. I was waiting to play this because we're not going to get Scissor or Cypher. So I was waiting for Guy Got It. I knew this was going to be on my playlist. I added it before I even listened to it. Obviously Doodle. And then I've also like skimmed through Run. Run has this very trappy feel from Jisung. It, it kind of reminds me of Hanze's solo mixtape last year. Slightly. With, with less EDM. Like a chill version of Hanze solo mixtape. It's mixed rapping and then the auto-tune is like, uh, uh the, the auto-tune, the hook is like an auto-tuned, uh, rapping. And, I don't know, I vibe with Run, I think it's a nice chill rap, I dig it, I think Jisung went off, I think Jisung went off so hard this year, I didn't talk about him that much because everyone else in the world was talking about Jisung this year, but yeah, Jisung did go off this year and he went off even more on replay with all the fucking solos he had. Um, ice cream I added. I love this chill verse uh, from Hyunjin. Again, so glad Hyunjin's coming to his own. And then I've also obviously added Zone uh, from a few years ago. And I'm glad I can officially count this as like a Stray Kids song. Oh, we're going to have so much fun ranking these uh, <laughs> next Tuesday uh, for the best raps of the year. We have to throw in I Got It. Obviously, it's going to be one of the best raps of 2022. Doodle, possibly um maybe a zone rap might be in there too it's gonna be really interesting uh but yeah i mean i have to check out the rest of the album so if you guys have any recommendations of which songs you think i would like based off what i like listening to i like you know you know i like my aggressive hip-hop i'm pretty sure it was just google and i got it on there which were the aggressive hip-hop ones so if there's any more like chill that sound kind of like hans run um hit me up with that uh, I know, apparently, Felix and Sungmin had very emotional solos, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I need some actual Stray Kids solo stuff. Like, I want all their members to get their own album solos in 2023. I really, I just, okay, you know what? One member, I don't care who, I need a Stray Kids soloist in 2023. That is one of my dreams. I need to make a wish list for next year. I just remembered that. Anyways, this is my overall thoughts on the album so far. <laughs> Doodle kind of went the fuck off. I'm so fucking happy with Doodle. I was so surprised. Like, listen to this beat! Bruh! Bruh! It hits so hard! That beat hits so hard, which is why I thought that the chorus would be more, like, intense. Because he like kind of sounds like he's holding his doodle, doodle, it's doodle, doodle. Like he kind of yell at us. I would have been like, "Yo, yell at me more, Chung." But ooh. But uh. <laughs> anyways, anyways, that, that's my overall thoughts on the album so far. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking of the replay album. Uh, obviously, what you think of the old songs that were already released that you're now getting to listen to and stream, and what you think of the eight-ish new songs that we got. Um. And yeah, we'll be grading fam on stream Saturday. So if you want to join us, twitch.tv slash car kpop Christmas Eve day. Come join us. We're doing our last grading stream of 2022 to get all these final songs in there. And then, yeah, next two, we're doing Pokemon on Christmas Day. And then on the 26th, we're doing Pokemon Nuzlocke. And then on the 27th, rap ranking, I got it. And doodle into there. Uh, I just realized I probably could have zoomed. Can I zoom this in? No, I can't zoom iTunes in. Anyways, um, thank you all for joining me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts. I want to know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I will do a breakdown on Doodle if I find something that's really cool that I want to show you guys in there. If not, just know that it's just a really cool hype song that um, you guys should just fucking jam out to because I'm enjoying the delivery so much. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for joining. Come subscribe. Uh, come join me on Patreon if, if you can support me. If not, leave a like, subscribe. I appreciate that so much as well. Um, and for you clicking on this video, I hope to see you guys next time. K-pop and chill the safe way. I don't, don't know why I still do that, but yeah. Bye, everyone.